in affliction that is about to be suffered. The work is 6,000 years. Means adversity. This divine affliction means adversity. This divine affliction means hurt, harm, ruin, ruination, and desolation. These days and times shall be the worst affliction in 6,000 years for those without the blood of the Lamb upon their doorposts of their homes during you they walk and pass them. And again, this divine affliction means misery, wretchedness. It means agony. This divine affliction means the worst torture and torment in 6,000 years. This divine affliction means the worst distress and suffering and bail in 6,000 years. This divine affliction today means the, the worst woe and grief in 6,000 years. This divine affliction means the worst decor and sorrow in 6,000 years. This divine affliction means the worst sadness, anguish, and anxiety in 6,000 years. This divine affliction means the worst unhappiness, heartache, and heartbreak, and a heavy heart in 6,000 years. This divine affliction means the worst trouble, the worst hardship, the worst sea of trouble, the worst storms and distress in 6,000 years. Divine affliction means the worst misfortune, infelicity, ill or bad luck, ill or bad fortune in 6,000 years. This divine affliction means the worst amnesia, A M B S A C E, in 6,000 years. This divine affliction means the worst evil eye, evil wind, the worst dark cloud, the worst star, dark star, the worst storm cloud in 6,000 years. This divine affliction means the worst trial and tribulation in 6,000 years. This divine affliction means the worst burden and weight, load and heavy, heavy burden in 6,000 years. This divine affliction means the worst mishap in 6,000 years. This divine affliction means the worst mistake and miscarriage. Misadventures in 6,000 years. This divine affliction means the worst mishandler, M-I-S-H-A-N-T-E-R, the worst place, the worst casualty, and the worst accident in 6,000 years. This divine affliction means the worst shock, the worst blow. The most heavy, nasty, staggering blow in 6,000 years. This divine destruction means the worst methods and strokes and strokes of bad luck and bad fortune in 6,000 years. This divine affliction means the worst reverses, the worst reversal. The worst setbacks, the worst come down, the worst bring down in 6,000 years. The divine affliction means the worst bit of pill that you have to swallow in 6,000 years. This divine affliction means the worst disaster. 
the worst tragedy and the worst calamity in 6,000 years. This is where I don't get This is the worst catastrophe, the worst cataclysm. It's 6,000 years. There has never in 6,000 years been anything so hard to bear. This divine history is the worst disaster ever seen on the planet in 6,000 years. In fact, all of the 6,000 years combined has not been as bad as this Yahweh Passover, the day of Yudhi Wabi. That's what's going to be Yudhi Wabi. America and the world is set for the worst of fiction since the creation of this world 6,000 years ago. The greatest mistake the God of this world made against his own kingdom was to put Messiah, Yudhiwate, that means to be Yudhiwate, in prison. Daniel prophesied that Messiah, Yudhiwate, that means to be Yudhiwate, would be cut off, exiled, withdrawn from public, put in prison, but not for himself. And then, when you will be put in, the people of the prince that shall come shall destroy the city, this great country, and the sanctuary, and the end there shall be with a flood. Daniel mm-hmm. chapter 9, verse 26, gives you that information. Now, after Messiah, you may want a definition of feet, you may want it, cut off from the public by being put into prison, there would come a new president, and the administration of the new president would cause the country to experience shock cost. She kept power. Shock cost. S H A W K H A T H. This new president and his administration shall cause America to decay. They shall internally injure the morals of America so severely as to change its normal qualities. Whose fault shall interfere with the proper development of the country? They shall destroy the innermost part of the temple. They shall devastate America. They shall bring America to ruin. Genesis chapter 9, verses 11 through 17, emphasizes a token in regard to who shall be saved and who shall be destroyed. Remember, consider what I say, and I will give you understanding in all things. You must consider that during the Passover, the blood of the Lamb is a token, a spiritual allegorical picture of your condition. And gaining knowledge of his erotic Passover shall save your life from this terrible destruction and affliction of America. And the world. If you repent, you may want they will stay the angel's hand of destruction upon you. Repent also includes your keeping you may want they pass over. Many pastors have destroyed my holy people. They have trodden down my portion under foot. They have made my servant people a desolate wilderness. Although America is the number one military power on the earth, the people who run America are as the men of Sodom, wicked and sinners before Yudhiwabi exceedingly, and shall pull America down. Although America is known to be great, the U.S. government is dared to put the Son of Man, Yudhiwabi, Bethlehem, Yudhiwabi, into prison.
and unjustly. Therefore, thus saith the Lord Yudhiwati, Behold, I am against thee, and will cause many nations to come up against you, as the sea causes his waves to come up. And they shall destroy the economic walls of America and break down her towers of economics. And I will also spread her dust from her and make her like the top of a rock. The moral corruption of America will prompt the devastating flood of destruction. The world is now a witness. That America is a sinful nation, a people laden with iniquity, a seed of evil doers, children that are corrupted. They have forsaken you, they want it. They have provoked the Holy One of Israel into anger, and they are gone away backwards. Read Isaiah chapter 1, verses 4 and 5. Oh, my people, Passover is about how you can be saved from the divine destruction of Almighty God, Yudhiwate, which is very sure to happen. It is happening. The signs are all around you. Yudhiwate is the only name that can save. Surely you will fear Yudhiwate. Surely you will receive instruction. From you they so your dwelling shall not be cut off. You they want is now revealing to you the time of the end of the world as you know it, and revealing you they want a revealing the blood of the Lamb as a token. Daniel chapter 12, verses 1 through 4, is the clearest Old Testament reference to the resurrection of the dead so called black man. The resurrection of Yudewate Bethel so be Yudewate from his mental and spiritual death abolishes death from all those who trust in Yudewate Bethel so be Yudewate for salvation. The appearance of Yudewate Bethel so be Yudewate, your Savior. He is now making manifest the spiritual allegorical pictures of Yudhe Wapi Passover and the blood of the Lamb as a token. It is a fact that Yudhe Wapi Bethlehem see Yudhe Wapi has brought light and immortality to light up your understanding. Second Timothy chapter 1 verses 9 through 10 is a beautiful Reference. Surely, learning that Yudhe Wabi Passover deals with the resurrection of the so-called black man, abolishes death, brings about salvation and eternal life, and destroys the wicked, is quite shocking. We, as the children of Israel, have been required by Yudhe Wabi to celebrate Passover since Moses Four thousand years ago. Now, today, for the Yudhiwabi Passover, the token includes the setting of the Great Tribulation. It is also the time that Yudhiwabi business of each Yudhiwabi shall stand up, who is also described as Michael. Described as Yudhe Wabi's special messenger in Daniel chapter 9, verse 21, and Luke chapter 1, verses 19 and verse 26. Yudhe Wabi, that will be Yudhe Wabi, is also described as one of the chief principles in Daniel chapter 10, verse 13. Yudhe Wabi, that will be Yudhe Wabi, is also described as your prince in Daniel. 1021. He's described as the great prince in Daniel chapter 12, verse 1. Yudewabe Bethlehem Sophie is also described as the archangel in Jude 
Jew, chapter 1, verse 5. And the leader of Yehovah, the army, in Revelation chapter 12, verse 6. Yehovah, that means for being Yehovah, it's described as the guardian of Israel. In Daniel chapter 12, verse 1. Yehovah required Daniel to shut up these words and seal the Holy Bible until the time of the end. And Yehovah, that means for being Yehovah, is the one chosen and found worthy to loose these seals. Yudewabe, Bethlehem, Sophie, Yudewabe, is raised from the dead level to make you understand Yudewabe Passover, the blood of the Lamb, as a token. The Hebrew word for understand is being, Bait Yud, Nun, Sophie. Invited to subject yourself to Yudhe Wabe, who 
creator of all things and to be his disciple. You are chosen to build the old way. The love of you here, what I for you, will come a black man, is beautifully expressed in Psalm chapter 103, verse 1 through 22. This is must reading for you. The phrase, you are the sons of Israel, occurs 630 times in the Bible and refers to all the people of Israel, not merely the so-called black males, but the females as well. The sons of God in Genesis chapter 6 refers to the godly lineage of Seth. Other occurrences of sons of God signify that you, so-called black men, are heavenly creatures. Yudhi Wabe does not forbid Yudhi Wabe as the son of man is to receive the glory and the power that belongs only to Yudhi Wabe. In the ancient Near East, a man was thought to achieve social continuity through his son. Deuteronomy chapter 29, verses 5 and 6, as well as 2 Samuel chapter 18, verse 18. The loss of an only son must be understood in the light of a historical background. From Genesis chapter 22, verse 2. Zechariah chapter 12, verse 10 looks at the spiritual impact that the physical coming of Yudhiwabi Bethlehem for me, Yudhiwabi, will have on the people of the world. This event will complete the deliverance of the so-called black men from America. The enemies of the so-called black men shall be destroyed. Yudhiwabi has made the so-called black men a cup of trembling unto all people round about them. You hear why they have made the so-called black men a human burden for all people. All that burden themselves with the so-called black men shall be cut in pieces. For all the earth, all the people of the earth, be gathered together against the so-called black men. They shall still be cut into pieces as long as they try to keep him in his position and hold him and carry him will be designed to destroyed. My message is a, is a message of mercy and peace for the whole planet. As you listen to it, you hear why they pass over and the blood of the Lamb as a token reveals that you Wate shall save Judah, the so-called black man, first. And the people of Yahweh you are reassured that you is among you today. Right now, in these days, shall you defend those that believe in his name, regardless of race, creed, color. It shall come to pass that you will seek to destroy all the nations that come against the nation of you Although all nations have been confederate against Judah, the so-called black man, the empowerment of Judah will enable his people to triumph over them, according to Zechariah chapter 12, verses 3 through 8. The enemies of Yudewabi, Bethlehem, Sophie, Yudewabi, will experience great sorrow when they realize they have persecuted and imprisoned the Messiah. The birth of the Messiah, Yudewabi, Bethlehem, Sophie, Yudewabi, uh, is a shock to the world. As you read in John chapter 1, verse 10, Isaiah, in chapter 7, verse 14, predicted the birth of a special being. You may want me, best known for me, you may want me. The famous prophecy of the virgin birth of you may want me, best known for me, you may want me, is contained in this verse. The correct understanding of this miracle is revealed in Yudhiwabe Passover and the blood 
as a token. This sign is a symbol or a synonym of token. This means that virgin is a special allegory. You are challenged to exercise faith in Yudewape during this crisis of Yudewape Passover. Almighty God, Yudewape, has generously offered a sign to bolster your faith in Isaiah chapter 7, verse 11. Ask be a sign of Yudewape by God. Ask it, even in the depth or in the height above. The problem is the so called black man is not trusting in his God, Yudewafe, but he is trusting in his alliance with his oppressors, seeking to be a citizen of this land and of the mindset of this land, which is clearly set against him. You seek to become a citizen in a government that is not yours. Out of your making, it's not designed for you. It's not designed to bless The Hebrew word for virgin is Alma. Alma. A L M A H. Spelled Ayan Lamet Mim Hey. Oh, Alev Wal Kal is the Hebrew word for sign and is synonymous with miracle, omen, prodigy, evidence, and token. Consider what I say, and I will give you understanding in all things. According to Second Timothy 2.7. Those who suggest that the birth of Yudhewabe, Bethlehem Sophie Yudhewabe, mentioned in Isaiah chapter 7, verse 14, would be a normal birth, contradict the significance of oath. Alim, Wal, Kal, the sign. This word never refers to ordinary events, but always to special or distinctive actions or things. With reference to Yudewape, this word is commonly translated as or understood to refer to miracle. This is particularly true of its use in Isaiah, which aside from this context are concentrated with the reference to Yudhe Wabhe's miraculous sign of the sundial in chapters 37 and 38. And with Yudhe Wabhe's miraculous millennial dealings with Israel in Isaiah chapters 56 and chapters 55. The whole chapter, 55 and the whole chapter 56. Therefore, the sign would need to be something extraordinary, not the normal birth of a male child who would live to see the downfall of Satan, the God of this world, the children of disobedience. Verse 14 is addressed to the whole house of David, the so-called black man. This immediately puts our focus on the current thing. Knowing their 1900-year-old claim is a mistake and that Satan and the children of Cain have flourished these last 1,900 years, forced the enemies of Yudhe to say Messiah would return to finish the job that was not done 1,900 years ago, namely establish the kingdom of Yudhe Wabhe through holiness and righteousness. All nations of planet Earth know Messiah, Yudhewabe Bethlehem, Seed Yudhewabe, would come at the time of the end of evil, wicked rulership, which has caused the nations to mourn for 6,000 years. Behold, a virgin shall conceive and bring forth a son, is a perfect allegorical picture 
But the son of man, you didn't want to be bedroom for feet, you didn't want to. Also note, you didn't want to be bedroom for feet, you didn't want to be, as the child born should be called Emmanuel, or God with us. You didn't want to be bedroom for feet, you didn't want to be. cannot be to any child. For in Isaiah chapter 8, verse 8, Isaiah chapter 8, verse 10, you didn't want to be bedroom for feet, you didn't want to be. As Emmanuel is presented as the true owner of the land, as implied in Leviticus chapter 25, verse 23, and shall be victorious, according to Isaiah chapter 8, verse 10. Further, the son, Yudei Wadi Bethlehem, so be Yudei Wadi, is to be born, or to be born, is mentioned again. It Son is given, and the government shall be upon his shoulders, and his name shall be called Wonderful Counselor, the Mighty God, the Everlasting Father, the Prince of Peace. Now, um, the word to be called in Hebrew is Kara, K A W R A W. Law. Um, and that's Kof Resh Aleph, or Kuf, Kuf Resh Aleph, I'm sorry. And uh, this means that Yudhe Wabe Bethlehem for Sid Yudhe Wabe shall cry out to Yudhe Wabe publicly and pronounce the name Yudhe Wabe, proclaim the name Yudhe Wabe publicly. And uh, pronounce the name Yudhe Wafe publicly, and preach the knowledge of the name Yudhe Wafe publicly, and invite the world to accept the name Yudhe Wafe, and to implore and make urgent supplication to Yudhe Wafe for mercy toward the so called black man, and to pardon. They're breaking Yudhe Wabe's law, statutes, judgments, and commandments. Also, to publicly call together the so called black man to serve his God, Yudhe Wabe, and to appoint righteous servants. All the other reasons why Yudhe Wabe, but this will be Yudhe Wabe, is cutting. Also, to praise the name Yudhe Wabe, to celebrate the high holy days of Yudhe Wabe. And to realize that Yudhe Wabe Bethlehem for the Yudhe Wabe has also come to call the so called black man by his true name, Israel, and to give the so called black man his individual holy name, and also uh, to call the so called black man out of darkness to his marvelous light, and to muster that exceeding great army of Yudhe Wabe in Exodus chapter 37, verse 10. And finally, to publish the name Yudhe Wabe, according to Deuteronomy 32, 2 and 3. All of these are, are parts of the job of Yudhe Wabe, Bethlehem, so be Yudhe Wabe, and his purpose of coming. The basic meaning of Kara, Kuf Fresh Olive, is the enunciation of a specific message to the lost sheep of the house of Israel. Uh, Matthew chapter 10, verse 6. Kara, Kuf, Resh, Aleph, is usually addressed to a specific recipient, such as the so-called black man, and is intended to elicit a specific response, which is to repent, cause the so-called black man to repent. Kara, Kuf, Resh, Aleph, is also used to represent the specification of a name. Now, the act of correctly naming the so-called black man is an assertion of sovereignty over the so-called black man. That is why the slave masters gave your fathers their names. Your name establishes your owner. That's what a name is for, to establish your owner. That is why we use the term slave name. It is a design law 
that you shall remain the property of the people in whose name you are in. As long as you have other people's names, they shall rule over you. Your owns the name you are in. Regardless of your religious belief, the only way you shall ever be free is to be in the name of your true owner, Yuhewave, the creator of all things. That's why the question was asked, or the statement was made in the earlier scripture, of the ox knows his master, his owner. Do you know yours? Now, examples of sovereignty over the thing named are found in scriptures such as Genesis chapter 1, verse 5, Psalms chapter 14, excuse me, Psalms chapter 147, verse 4, Isaiah chapter 40, verse 26. Ruby Ravi wanted our forefather Adam to assert his own authority in this world as shown in Genesis chapter 2, verse 19. Read it. The so-called black man is called by many different names after many different peoples and nations that owned him during slavery. And that is the divine basis for your disunity and division. And your disunity shall be healed when you return to your original father, Yute Wafe, and to the common last name, Israel. That is your last name. And it it's a common name establishing your common family, the unit to which you belong. This proves everything is in a name. Well, we must understand that naming a person may specify an individual's primary characteristics as found in Genesis chapter 27, verse 36. Naming a person may be an evaluation according to Isaiah chapter 58, verses 13 and 14, and chapter 60, verse 14 and 15. The above two scriptures make it plain that we didn't want to pass over the blood of the Lamb as a token hidden from those who turn away from the Sabbath that your Holy Father decreed. You are suffering because you have lost the knowledge of that which is holy and you are blind to that which is holy. You shall be destroyed if you fail to honor you take my faith. If you dare speak your own words of ignorance, you will be destroyed during you hear what they pass over. On the other hand, if you allow you hear what they to fill you with the joy of his law, he will cause you to enjoy the high places of the nations of earth and make you rich with the heritage of Jacob, your father, for the mouth of you hear what they have to Kuf 
express honor, expressing the idea that you must recognize the eternal truth of Isaiah chapter 7, verse 14, in which the Messiah is called by the name Yudhiwadu Bethan Sophie Yudhiwadu, and is Emmanuel, God with us. Another important meaning is Yudhiwadu Bethan Sophie Yudhiwadu is summoned for a specific task according to Isaiah chapter 55 verse 5, chapter 65 verse 12, chapter 66 verse 4, Jeremiah chapter 7 verses 13 through 15, Zechariah chapter 7 verse 7, and uh, in Matthew chapter 21 verses 31 through 41. Here, Yahweh and Yahweh has a specific task of making the allegory of Yahweh Passover clear to you. In Isaiah chapter 7, verse 14, Carl Kufresh Alev expresses that Yahweh Bethlehem shall be Yahweh, shall manifest the name Yahweh and teach you that calling upon the name Yahweh will bring you salvation. That is, when in trouble, you can summon his aid by calling upon his name, Yudhiwabe. You must accept this eternal truth and begin to call upon the name of the Lord, Yudhiwabe, that means to see Yudhiwabe. You call upon the name, Yudhiwabe, for Yudhiwabe is close unto all them that call upon his name. To all, regardless of race or color, that call upon his name in truth. Yudhiwate will fulfill the desire of them that fear him. He also will hear their cry and will save them. Yudhiwate reserves, or he should say, he preserves all them that love him. But all the wicked will be destroyed. Who, bless I, horror. In the context of Yudhiwabe Passover, the blood of the Lamb as a token, has to do with a critical need of salvation for the so called black man. This poor man cried, and Yudhiwabe heard him and saved him out of all his troubles. The righteous cry, and you do want to hear it, and delivers them out of all their troubles. Many are the afflictions of the righteous, and you do want to deliver them out of all of them. I cried unto you, they want me, with my voice, and he heard me out of his holy hill. The so-called black man is facing critical times of destruction of his future. In fact, he faced chronic needs. Our forefathers, the children of Israel, signed by reason of their bondage, they cried. And our forefathers cried, and their cry came up unto you, Tehwate, by reason of their bondage. When you, Tehwate, heard their groaning, and you, Tehwate, remembered his covenant with our forefathers, Abraham, Isaac, and with Jacob. O so-called black man, call upon me in the face of trouble. I will deliver you.
Yudhe Wafe will have mercy upon him. We turn to Yudhe Wafe, for he will abundantly pardon. As 13, chapter 8, verse 43 says, Yudhe Wafe, hear thou in heaven your dwelling place, and do according to all that the stranger call up to you for, that all people of the earth may know your name, you may want me, to fear you and be your people Israel, the redeemed so-called black men, and that they may know that this house, the nation of you may want me, which I have built, is called by your name, you may want me. Oh, you may want me, our God, merciful unto us and bless us and cause your face to shine upon us that your way may be known upon the earth your saving help among all nations let all nations praise you here oh so called black man And it is a symbol and token of using Wabi judgment. This 
also means Yahweh Passover is also Yahweh Judgment Day. Jews on Sunday being you know Yahweh Passover, that the prophets predicted that even the Gentiles in Isaiah 55 verse 5 would call upon you in Wazi and save him a part of his Zephaniah chapter 3 verse 9. And you know what they would answer them according to Isaiah 55 24. Joel in chapter 2 verse 32 says, And it shall come to pass, whosoever shall call on the name of you and what they shall be delivered. The poor so called black man has been blind, deaf, dumb, ignorant, and endured to the knowledge of the name of the name. It is now time for the seals to be loose, and the spiritual allegorical pictures of the words of Yudhiwabe to be made clear. Yudhiwabe Passover, the blood of the Lamb as a token, decoded. The next shock is, who is this virgin in Isaiah chapter 7 verse 14? This understanding is part of the token in the Wapi Passover. Consider what I say, and I will give you understanding in all things. To put you back up the fact that this virgin is the so called black man who is hidden in the Finland Finder by J.I. Rodell, page 1322, as virgin. Hidden under the number six, Wav in Hebrew, as being a people that are unaware. Virgin is a people who are unconscious. A virgin is a people that is insensitive. Virgin is a people that are unsuspecting. Virgin is a people that is unanticipated. Virgin is a people unknowing. Virgin is hidden there and described as a people incognizant and ignorant. Virgin is described there as a people in the dark, blindfolded. Virgin is described as a people uninformed. Virgin as a people unenlightened virgin is described as a people who are uninitiated virgin is described as a people who are unacquainted virgin is described as a people who are unversed unexperienced virgin described as a people unexposed virgin is described as a people who are sheltered
Matthew chapter 24, verses 42 to 44. You have been warned for 1900 years to watch, therefore, for you know not what hour your Lord, you didn't want to just on your feet. You didn't want to take that come. But know this, that if the so-called black man, <clears throat> who is the big man of the house, had known in what watch the feet would come, he would have watched and would not have suffered his house to be broken up as it is today and destroyed. And he's worried about his future. His future and all his neighborhoods are completely broken up, destroyed. Therefore, be ready for a certain hour as you think not. The son of man, you don't want to be come. Matthew warns you in chapter 25, verse 13. Watch therefore, for you know neither the day nor the hour wherein you they want to be. Just this moon so feet you they want to the son of man coming. Luke warns you in chapter 12, verse 39 and 40, to be therefore ready also. When you they want to be just so feet you they want to the son of man comes at an hour when you think not. Peter warns you in Second Peter chapter 3, verse 10 and verse 12, the day of you, they want to death and proceed, you, they want to will come as a thief in the night. It was the heaven or the gods of this world, the present wicked leadership, shall pass away with a great noise, and the elements shall melt with fervent heat. The earth also and the works that are therein shall be burned up. These scriptures powerfully portray the conditions of the people's mindset and their works at the coming of Udawate, that means of the Udawate. The elements in 2 Peter chapter 3 verse 10 comes from the Greek word sartion, S-T-O-Y-K-H-I-O-N, which means that the orderly arrangement of fundamental principles which enable the nations of earth to conform to virtue, piety, righteousness, and true holiness in regard to their religion, economics, politics, education, and society shall melt with further heat. In other words, all outward worldly institutions shall melt with Melt comes from the Greek word luo, spelled L-O-O dash O, and is used to announce that all of the worldly institutions used to keep the so-called black man spiritually and mentally blind, deaf, dumb, ignorant, dead, and bound shall melt with further you they want to be so see you they want to so loose the seals of the Holy Bible and thereby loose the so called black man. The pitiful condition of the so called black man has caused much anguish and tears. You they want to says in Revelation chapter 5, verse 5, we not. Behold, you they want to be so see you they want the lion of the tribe of Judah, the root of David. And prevail to open the book and to loose the seven seals thereof. Matthew described the so called black woman and her children as an ass tied with her coat. That the disciples of Udewade Best and Sophie, Udewade, are to bring to Udewade Best and Sophie, Udewade. Mark chapter 11, verse 2 and 3 described the so called black man as a coat tied. Well, never men sat and gave orders loose him and bring him. For you don't want it, but for people you don't want it, have need of him. Bring comes from the Greek word ago. Ao, uh, this is ago, excuse me, A-G-O, ago, and means to bring or lead the so-called black man to Udewabe Bethlehem, so see Udewabe gently, lead him gently, and 
without violence. Therefore, you must entice the so-called black man, attract him, be the so-called black man, back to you, hey, Wadabe, by exciting his desire to keep the laws of you, hey, Wadabe. Hear that carefully. Romans chapter 8, verse 14 says, As many as are led by the spirit of you, hey, Wadabe, they are the sons of you, hey, Wadabe. The revelation here is you know why they pass over the blood of the Lamb as a token signifies the relationship of the so-called black man as offspring of his parents, you know why. 